A month ago I posted this community post asking you guys this question, what made you enjoy Duel Links at the first place? Looking at the comments of that post, I feel like many players often forget why they even started playing Duel Links originally. Some people played the game because they watched the anime, some just want to play cool archetype gimmicks, some play to win competitively, some enjoy meme decks, some enjoy building a unique deck, some like pulling off crazy combos, some play for the characters and their voice lines, and some see Duel Links as an introduction to the real life Yu-Gi-Oh trading card game. Personally, I like deck building and discovering new combos. I like using different deck gimmicks, especially those with many different combo potentials, that's why I like playing Crystron so much. I can play different tech cards in it, like Witch of the Black Forest and Junk Synchron. I can calculate the levels of my monsters in every duel and find the best Synchro monster to summon according to the current situation. It's also very satisfying to banish my opponent's monsters with my boss monster Quarryongandrax. New players play Duel Links to have fun, and that is the main reason why Duel Links meme and I recommend new players to follow the rock route. If you don't know what the rock route is, I suggest watching my deck investment video to learn more about it. If you think the archetype support in the rock route are outdated, you're missing the whole point. Rock route isn't just about triamids and karma cut. It's about getting a wide variety of archetype support in a cheap price and letting new players enjoy playing different decks. The rock route has all kinds of archetype support including Triamid, Magnet Warrior, Valkyrie, Ritual Beast, What, Dark Magician, Yosenju, Crystron, Karakuri and Scraps, as well as some staple back row like Karma Cut and Super Team Buddy Force Unite. The decks in the route are less competitive than decks from some other boxes, but I believe what new players really need is not a top tier deck, but rather to explore more about the game and finding their own deck preferences and playstyle, so they can truly enjoy playing Duel Links. Not every new player needs to be a meta slave right after they start playing the game, so while a box like Sign of Harpies might be more powerful and meta relevant than the rock route, it only gives you one good deck to play with which is Harpies, so if the reason you play Duel Links is to enjoy the different deck types, the Rock Root will be a better choice than Sign of Harpies. Some may argue that Amazonas is a better new player deck than Triamids, but if you really think about it, Amazonas is much more outdated than Triamids and sees far less success than Triamids in Ranked. It has many weaknesses and Amazonas Queen takes a lot of time for a new player to obtain. Amazonas has potential to be good when more Amazonas support is released, but the old Amazonas guards like Onslaught will likely be reprinted along with them, so you won't need to buy the Valiant Souls box to get them anyway. Karma Cut also sees more play than Canadian not only because of its discard cost being useful to top tier decks, but also because the effect of Karma Cut itself is really good, banishing a monster is often better than flipping one face down especially against fusion based decks because they can use face down monsters as fusion material. Don't forget Book of Moon will be coming anytime soon, which will immediately power creep Canadia and replace it completely. Basically what I'm saying is that there are always much better and cheaper choices than to buy Valiant Souls. Before I end the video, here's a quote from Duel Link's meme. Play the game, not played by the game. Enjoy the game, not enjoy the win. Thanks for watching goodbye.